Hi everybody, welcome to Convertible Conversations. Boy, here we are at the end of October and it's another absolutely beautiful day in Kansas. It's like 80 degrees today. And uh, I don't know, maybe this is paradise and we've just been fooled all along. But welcome to paradise. Today we're gonna continue talking about deconstructing our understanding of some false things that many of us have believed because of religion. Now, I don't want to tell you that everything in religion is bad, but when we believe lies, then those obviously are bad and those are harmful. I want to talk to you today about deconstructing your understanding of sin, the S word. We tend to focus on whatever supposed flaws we think we have, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, behavioral character. God calls that having a sin consciousness and he explicitly tells us not to ever have a sin consciousness. That's not good for us and he doesn't want us to have that. Religion tends to focus on sin and behavior management because that's what has kept people coming back every Sunday. For many, many churches, hopefully this isn't true in ones you've been in, but for many, many churches, the pastor has sort of a three-point thing every Sunday. This is sin, many of you are involved in this sin, Number two, God hates that. He's bummed with you because of that. Number three, here's what you need to do. And he lays it out and then he says, all right, now make a commitment to do that and come back next week and hear about another bad thing. That's what religion tends to do. It focuses on sin and behavior management because it believes the lies that we are all sinful, that we displease God, that our sin has separated us from God, that we've got to work at managing our behavior, and if we just suck it up and work hard enough, we can have self-improvement and change ourselves. And then when we do that, God will please with that. And if we do it well enough and often enough and good enough, and if it's lasting enough, that will cause somehow God to bless us. It's sort of like he's a divine vending machine. Well, every one of those are actually lies. First of all, God took away all the sin of the world. He forgave it all. He doesn't hold any of it against us. He chooses not to remember it and will never bring it up uh, to us again. Uh, he makes that absolutely clear in Scripture. We are not sinful people. We are sanctified people. We've all been made pure and holy and innocent and without fault and right with God. Now, do we always think like that? Do we always act like that? No, but that's who we are in our essence because God did all of that. Our sin does not displease God. Now, of course, God is saddened when the actions of his children hurt themselves and each other, but never make mistake that for him being displeased with us as his children. We've never been separated from God. That's a myth. That's a lie that religion has foisted off on us. He actually put us in Christ before creation. Everything and everyone is in Christ. The Holy Spirit has always been in us. There's nowhere we can go that God is not already there and already in us. We don't have to work at changing anything to please him and get him to bless us. He's already pleased with us and he already blesses us, not because we do good things, but because he is good. Not because we're always the kind of person that causes somebody to want to love us, but because he is love. So once we know those truths about God and us, and the better we get to know him and what he's really like, he will actually, in us, change our want to's. And then we will find ourselves wanting to live differently than we have before. Not wanting to hurt people and judge people and put people down and lie people and cheat. And that. We don't even want to do those things anymore. Then, it's not by our effort of trying to work up something to change, then because we want to do those things and Christ in us does them, then we start to enjoy and experience the wonderful abundant life that he's already given us. Once we know the truth, it's the truth that makes us free. It literally makes us free, and we do know the truth. Christ who is in us, and he has made us free. Sin is not a terrible crime. It's a terminal disease that God actually cured at Jesus' finished work at the cross. He's the great physician, not the terrible, angry judge. These Knowing these things will help you experience the only true God, who is love, and the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and it will change your actions and your ideas and your whole attitude. It'll change everything. You'll literally start to enjoy yourself. You'll enjoy God. You'll enjoy the abundant life that they came for you to have. Hope this is helpful. See you next time. So long.